Hey guys, I uh, want to show you what you get for an on-road car from uh, HSP. This one's like almost the most basic kit, does not even come with instructions, but um, the store has good reviews and the other guys said uh, they just asked and the store emailed them instructions, but I'll look online and uh, I put a lot of RC cars together so it shouldn't be a real big deal, but in my area in the Philippines, the basic kit with a plastic chassis and no wheels is just over $60. This one was under $80 uh, shipped. Um, it's got the nice thick aluminum chassis and then all the HSPs have that aluminum, um, you know, second brace. And then uh, here's the whole rear assembly, motor mount, the spur gear, um, aluminum shocks, and then uh, differential cases and everything. And then up here is uh, the prop shaft, center shaft, bumper stuff. And then here's the front um, differential assembly and shocks and all that. And, um, yeah, I'm not really a fan of white wheels, I guess, but it'll show up, I guess. And then uh, I have a bunch of receivers, so I'll run it with a Ghoul RC or uh, Turbo Racing or uh, good old Dumbo RCs. And then I've got a combo Ghoul RC. This was like $30 combo, uh, $36.50, and then it's $3,900 KV. And then um, a spoiler set, two spoilers, was like $2, so I got that. And then... I've been having a lot of fun drifting, so my rough concrete road chews up all my drift wheels pretty quick, so I ordered some more drift wheels, and then I've got some better looking on-road tires in black. And then a Chevy Camaro body, it was only like $6, and then I already had the Subaru body, so it'll have that. And then just for comparison, this is ZD Racing or LRP, uh, which is a German name, and it says LRP on the brace, and this was a rolling chassis. It was pretty much assembled. Um, you know, the differentials and everything were bolted on, suspension all bolted on. I just had to put in my own motor, put on the center brace, put on the receiver box, put in my own servo, uh, stuff like that. And it's got oil shocks, real fat ones. And then that one's got a Mustang body. So I like uh, Fords, I like Chevys. So I figured we'll have a little competition that way. And then here's just for comparison, a ZD Racing uh, buggy. And this was really three main pieces, uh, a roller kit. Um, the whole rear suspension and everything is assembled. You just bolt it onto the chassis and the whole front end is assembled. You just bolt it onto the chassis, put your own servo and everything. This is just an unbranded brushless motor and unbranded ESC, but it hardly does any cogging and it goes 63 kilometers per hour. I do have other gears. I could go faster, but... Um, and then in, in, in the off-road track and in the grass, you don't have as much power and stuff. So I'm just pretty happy the way it is. I put a monster truck bumper on it, ZD Racing, so I can race with the boys and the wife and no big deal. It kind of saves my shocks and everything. So, yeah, and this also says LRP on the uh, top brace. And I did some research. I like to know history and stuff. And LRP worked with uh, Team Associated back in the day. And then... I guess they share this stuff now because I see some kits say for LRP and it looks the same and then other ones say for ZD Racing and it looks the same. And according to my research, the HSP differentials will fit in here too because on my websites that I order from, it says for HSP, for LRP, and uh, for the ZD Racing. So I guess all that will fit. So that'll be my little projects. I'll look a little bit around online for maybe some assembly instructions or something. And then their competition is, um, this is from the 90s, late 90s, Team Associated, TC3, the touring car. And it, it's brushed, the stock motor, but excellent for drifting. The previous owner tightened up the ball differentials, so pretty much locked, it drifts like crazy. And then this is an old uh, late 90s Tamiya TL01 and um, came with a Mitsubishi body, but I just found this uh, truck body. I got to drop it down a little more, make it lower, I guess. But um, yeah, that's kind of set up for drifting too. So the boys and the wife and I, we have fun at a 
concrete outside basketball court with a roof on it. We do our drifting and stuff. I've done videos on these. So that's basically it. There's some more ZD racing, 10th scale uh, monster truck, 10th scale for the uh, uh, stadium truck, and then uh, old Losi, and then I'm a Traxxas guy, but now I'm in the Philippines, hard to find, but I found this one um, second hand, and I love it. Basically, it's a two-wheel drive slash, but, uh, you know, it's called a Raptor. It's got the Raptor body on it and a cooler bumper and stuff like that. And then here's a big eighth uh, ZD Racing. That was a roller kit. Um, it was a monster truck, but I didn't like it. The tires were 170 millimeters high, and it was clumsy, and it did a lot of cogging. So I just bought buggy tires for it, and it was total difference it uh really went around our track carved the corners and everything so then i bought the wing and the wing mount and the body i left the wheelie bar on it from the monster truck and i just uh, chopped off the top of the bumper from the monster truck gives quite a bit of protection for the shocks and stuff so now it's really nice i got to do a video on this one yet because uh i did a video when it was a monster truck but i just didn't love it, it too much cogging and then i had a big 150 amp surpass hobby ESC in it and that went up in smoke on the first day uh, Just on 3s and it's rated for 6s and I see a lot of YouTube videos those things go up in smoke So now I got a hobby wing in there and it, it's been doing good and with the smaller tires. It's not so much um, Stress on it and stuff. So okay. Thanks for watching and we will uh, Show the finished product when it gets done on the next video and then uh, do some drifting and racing and kind of have a little competition. So now we got the Ford Mustang, we'll have a Chevy Camaro and then the um, team associated, that's a Dodge Stratus right from the factory. That I got that kind of from the Manila area. The guy had taken really good care of it. One cool thing, it's got the best body magnets I've ever had. They really stick. The guy found some good ones and put on it. I've tried it on crawlers and even on a crawler, just kind of bouncing around, the body falls off. But this thing's crazy. They just, uh, it really clicks on there. So yeah, that's really cool. Otherwise I'm not a fan of magnets, but yeah, he did a really cool job on that thing. So thanks a lot guys.